Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts. But before we continue onwards, we have to touch on base on a few things. First of all, I've done a lot of things sort of off screen. Um, I live streamed it, but I actually went off and I did some grinding of my levels. If you guys remember, I was about level 53 when we last left off, and now we're level 69. So. We've, all, we've leveled up a lot. Um, I got the Kyrga upgrade by talking to Aerith at the uh, Hollow Bastion three times. Or, yeah, three times. I didn't know that you got it from her. But yeah, we got that. And then we got Aeroga. Um, oh, yeah, let me see. We got Aerora from Neverland. In that one room where you have to infiltrate it using the yellow trinity. We got that from, we got Arrow Ruff from there. And then we got Arrow Ga by getting the rest of the Dalmatians. So we have all 101 Dalmatians. And we got a lot of different items from it. And we're, uh, yeah, we, we, I, I, I did a lot. I am going to do a stream highlight of those. And try and, you know, incorporate them into a way that you guys can find them. And maybe I'll link them in an annotation after I've uploaded this. But, um, yeah. So we beat Cursisa. Which is this big giant mech cobra thing on on Agraba? We beat the the Phantom, which is a really hard enemy, well, sort of hard enemy to beat on um, Neverland, and we beat the Ice Titan. We beat the Ice Titan. We haven't beat Sephiroth yet. Uh, I've done a few runs and I've gotten him down to two health bars left. You know, I can start seeing the green and. <laughs> He kicked my ass. So I'm going to wait until after I've done a little bit more leveling up. Um, but we're going to get back into the main storyline because we, we, we're, we're ready to rumble, man. I'm level 69. I'm a whole, like, nearly 20 levels higher than we were before. We're going to go kick some ass. And, you know, fix all this darkness shenaniganry. And then no, wait, we'll see what ends up happening afterwards. Uh, so let me go ahead and warp over to Hollow Bastion. I did quite a few adjustments to my ship. Now it's like... It, it, it has too much. It has way too much on it, but, you know, it does its job. It kills things really good. So, yep, we're going to go ahead and head out. Um, I also found out that I can't get all the Trinities in the game, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just not I'm not going to bother trying, because if, I miss, if I'm missing one of the Trinities, and I want to get 100%, I'd rather get 100% or nothing. You know what I mean? So, let's get over to the end game. But first we have to, you know, fly there. Whee! Oh, Jesus. Well, these guys don't look so bad. Yet. Right? Yet. Sooner or later we're going to run into, like, a lot of really hard enemies. But until then... <laughs> I like going fast. Okay, now we're in... Dude, holy shit. This place is really dark. I don't remember ever being this dark. You know, it's like a, a flying nebula of death. But hey, you do what you gotta. Let me see if you anyone. I, mean, I should be focusing on the game. I'm looking around for water and we're flying. I'd be a horrible pilot. Which is funny if you know where my name came from. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. <laughs> Although, if you were a jet pilot pilot, wouldn't you have like an automated, you know, dispense system? That's what I would have. Right? Just like, you know, it just it like like one of those those uh, baseball caps that have like the, the liquid come down through the tubes. Like that. By the way, what kind of enemies are these? What the hell? <laughs> it's like you have a bunch. You basically just get attacked by giant formations of shapes. Which I guess everything is a giant formation of shape, but those were especially, you know, weird looking. Okay. Um. Welcome to the end of the world. Is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... 
this is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But we're but on no it. No worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I guess, yeah, we have our little charm of Kyrie. I'll return this. I promise. I don't even remember this place. Which is funny, considering it's like the last part of Kingdom Hearts. I remember a lot more, but I really don't remember this. In fact, you know, I never even considered like this entire that entire conversation they had. I never was sat there and was like, wow, that's the end this is this is all that remains of what happens when a when a heartless when the heartless actually take over worlds. Large amounts of nothing and little scraps of the world. So the end of the world is really interesting, at least this first section. You can see that there's a shitload of different chests around here. They're all traps. If you go to them, it starts a battle. Watch. And this is possibly <laughs> outside the tournament, this is one of the most annoying places to ever be. Because of this, you know, you're just trying to get to the end. You're just trying to get to the end of the game, and it just keeps on dropping shit on top of you. Like, no, stop. Game, why you gotta do this? Don't drop enemies on me. Wait, did I just get an Aritualum from an enemy? I didn't know I could do that. I thought Aritualums were only in chess. But all right, let me just go ahead and strike this guy. Oh. Who's it gonna go on? It's going on me. Ah! Dark! Mister, I'll have you I'll have you know I'm level 69, and I'm not worried about any of this, alright? You know, I'm, I'm killing with Freeze. Or Blizzard. Although that doesn't look like it's gonna work, so I'll just kill him with regular attacks. Can we get the chest? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like. I want I want the chest though. Oh, there we go. Now I'm not sure like instinct is to like avoid all the combat, right? But I'm not sure if that's possible. In fact Like, do we do we have to look up and avoid these giant balls or are they, you know, just kind of indicating of other things? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I guess we'll figure it out as we go through. It doesn't matter. I mean we're level sixty nine, nothing's gonna be a, a pain for us. I'm gonna give myself more strength because you know the, the the last thing I need in life is more strength. Uh, trap, 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 trap. Oh, shit. So there are actually invisible walls between these. So I, I guess it's mandatory to walk to the the possible traps. Oh Jesus! Okay, they explode into into combat ar arenas if you know you know, if you don't get caught in one, it becomes the combat arena. That is a major jip, but okay. Oh, I blocked his dark ball attack. Oh, isn't that great? I invisible. I invisible. No, strike. There we go. Did we get an item? Or was that literally just a trap? Because if it was literally just a trap, I'm annoyed. Come on. Let us out. Maybe it's a timed thing. Oh no, we do get an item. Okay, defense up. Who do, who who needs it though? Who really needs the defense? Donald actually has a really. Donald has more defense than me? Okay, yeah, that defense is going towards towards Sora because I have the le the least defense out of everybody, which is really weird. I mean, not 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 it's not weird versus Go Goofy because Goofy's the tank. I mean, look at his look at his freaking health bar, man. But me? Okay. I don't know anymore. I'm just gonna go to the chest. It's gonna explode, and we're gonna be like, Nyar! Oh, Jesus. Come on, expand outwards. Oh! Good, 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 sir. Alright, that fell down. And we're just gonna casually make our way over to this and hopefully not run into those things. Shit. <laughs> you just see the expanding ball, you're like, Oh, fuck me, it's a behemoth! Oh, damn. I did not think that would be... I didn't think we'd be fighting a behemoth through these. Huh. Okay. Hey, it doesn't have. It doesn't nearly have as much health as the one in the tournament or the one that we fought at Alabastian. So at least there's that. Dude, if you had to fight this alongside, like, some other some other little enemies, I'd be infuriated. Like, especially the invisibles. Oh, Jesus. Ow. 
Okay, it's all right. I, I I can take a hit. Get on top of him, or don't. You know, let him walk around. Why does his footsteps cause like explosions, but not the 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 uh, rock type? It's just so weird. Always weirding me out. Urgh, get off my head! Oh no! I didn't get him off my head fast enough. Oh, whoa! Holy Jesus! Did you guys see that slowdown? That was insane. It's like holy fuck! That's a lot of items! You're, you're crazy, boy! You're crazy! And I just sit there going, yeah, I know. Uh, mega Arts, great. More Mega Arts. I'm gonna go ahead and roll, roll, roll the boat. Get hit by giant balls! Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a extremely destroyed world. Taken over by darkness. Well, that doesn't sound as nice. How you doing over here? Uh, ow. Oh, okay. That's how you're doing. You, you're gonna go, you, you wanna die. He was a bit suicidal there. That's not my issue. Open, 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 open. I'm so glad that in Kingdom Hearts 2 you can open these things in combat. So you can just be like, can I just get my chest? <laughs> I just want the chest. Give it to me. Thank you. Okay, now I'll kill everybody around here. Or maybe, you know, if it gives you a bad item, you can just get, you can kill people in rage and be like, a fucking potion! I risk getting out of the way at the top of the map for a potion! I'm killing all of you! You're all dead! We're gonna get squashed. Oh, okay. I'll be over here, opening the chest. That happens. Alright. <laughs> oh no, invisibles and angel stars. Whatever will I do with all the enemies in this area? Oh. Looks like I killed them. <laughs> oh shit! Never mind, that one went invisible. You can see his name is invisible and stuff. Fuck you. Uh oh, you missed, buddy. That missing costed you your life. Actually, you, you could have hit me and it still would have mattered. But that's not the point. Hi, the chest that we're going to be getting in a little bit. Look how close we are to it. Damn. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ooh, another defense up. Nice. Okay. This is like them apologizing if your character kind of still sucks. It's like, by the way, here's some defenses and maybe some strengths. In fact, you know, I mean, this is, there's like a ton of them that I haven't gotten over there. So, yeah. Three stars. What is that one? Mm -hmm. Equipment. Three stars, three stars, three stars. It's obviously probably going to do something with um, all the abilities. Let's see. Reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage, and significantly raises defense. Ooh. That sounds nice. Right? Yeah, I don't know. This one... No, it gives the same one. Never mind. I... 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 Oh. I guess three stars and the ribbon are just straight up identical in all regards. See? Not a single added boost. Alright, whatever. I guess I could add, um... I could add this over to him. See? An extra little bit of defense for little Donald. I don't know what we're gonna do with him. Does he really need... Does he really need the AP? Because he could totally go for, you know, White Fang. Get some more strength, some more defense. There. Okay. Going for White Fang. Uh, we're gonna check his abilities because he might be lacking something now. Nope, it didn't automatically take something off. Alright, then we're gonna give him a second wind. He's never gonna need it, but we gave him a second wind. Uh, do we have any extra AP? We do have a little tiny bit of AP. What can I put it on? MP Rage so sounds good. Hmm. Critical Plus. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Boost Attack Power 1 HP is Critical Lilo. Alright, fine. How about this? Critical Plus. Just so we can get, you know, those extra little bits of, of critical attacks. Okay, and now we make our way to the end of the world! Uh, or not. Okay, so I guess we make our way to one of the chests at the end of the world! Fine, God, I'll go for the chest. Well, just kidding! Haha! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, I can't do it. You know, no, 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 no. It'll always irk me if I don't get this one. Hi, little guys. Wow, one strike killed it. That is awesome. 
And then this guy's all like, Get off! I'm invisible, naked, heartless dude! <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, Well, I'm Sora. <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? You think about the, by the time we get to level 100, we'd have like enough AP for every single skill? I'm sure you could. Oh, speaking of which, we have some another another ability thing. Uh, items, stock, strength by one. You always, I, I I always level up Sora like a hell of a lot because there there are instances where you know you're either not gonna have Goofy, you're not gonna have Donald, or you don't have either of them. You know, like before. Well, granted, you don't really. You don't really have any kind of ability at that point, but that's not the point. It's just better to have, you know, the ability to completely kick ass by yourself, especially because you're the most reliable thing in this game. It's like, look at Donald get attacked by, by, you know, something that was choreographed a thousand years ago. It could be written on the wall that's like, Donald, jump when the enemy goes. Heartless destruction. And Donald would just sit there on the ground and get hit by the wave. Like, well, that's your own fault, Donald. Dark Ring. Oh man, I can't wait to use Dark Ring to get rid of all the dark elemental attacks. The only problem is I don't know which which, which attacks are dark magic attacks. So, <laughs> oh jeez. Behemoth. Behemoth. <laughs> I just predicted that. I'm like, you know, that was a really big bubble. Does that mean something? It does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cute. I'm just going to float in the air while I do that attack. Like, holy shit. <laughs> nice. I didn't know that if you do if you do strike on top of the big enemies and they move, you just float in the air like, oh, here. <laughs> I'm in mid-attack, buddy. Oh no, he's doing all these little big giant attacks. Good thing I could just say backwards. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! We're about to be hit by giant dark balls! Like, you know, we haven't been. That hasn't happened to us already, right? Okay. You know, I'm pretty sure the, heart, the Heartless are really fond of balls. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, whatever. Thunder. That didn't do anything. Alright. Try, try again! Okay. Well, how about I strike it? Hey, that worked! Oh, Jesus. Ah! He got his attack off. Can I get the money? Give me my money. <laughs> apparently, I, apparently, a behemoth is only worth 284 money. Or 65. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Which is sad, because you can kill defenders for like 240 back on Traverse Town. Oh, hey, look. We moved. I wonder where that handsome fellow went. Diving in the most dangerous place and we'll find him. Yeah, I guess. I have no idea. No idea how to navigate this area, but going forward is a pretty sound plan. I'm pretty sure. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these are vines too. Yeah, look at that. Not that I care too much. I could just glide. Gliding sounds like a good idea. Oh, hey, look. There's a giant hole down here. Into the giant hole we go! Or not. Well, we'll save. I wonder if you get attacked there. Or there's items around here that, you know, I wasn't paying attention to. Alright, let's get back to saving in 1 through 5. During my live stream, I just saved to 6, 7 constantly. And I was actually planning on recording me beating the enemies, but then I accidentally saved over those saves. And I was like, okay, well, never mind then. <laughs> All the, the hidden bosses, I was going to show it in the Let's Play, but yeah. Now what? Well, we got to fight some enemies and then make our way through these things, these, these glowing balls. This don't really make a hell of a lot of sense. What is this one? Is this a fight? It's a fight. Alright. Come at me, bros! This is interesting. So basically, you have to fight through all of the, uh... You're gonna, you're, we're gonna have to fight through very recognizable areas throughout all the worlds. Which is, which is cool, I guess. 
kind of makes you relive going through the entire game. It's like, by the way, here's Traverse Town. Destiny Island. Well, I, I don't think you could get Destiny Island, but that's not the point. Oh, well, what do you got us? Give Spirit Shard, Protect Chain. Alright, cool. And the actual item? Brave Warrior. Lame. Alright, I'm leaving. Getting out of here. Going through the front door. <laughs> That's lazy. Fuck you. Really? They blocked the ways off just by putting like a giant... <laughs> giant block? Alright, I guess that works. So did that do anything in the outside world, or is that just like a fighting? Yeah, I guess that's just a fighting thing. So I don't even have to do it. I don't want items or anything like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Just so you know, you can just keep on going. Like, oh, wow, well, now we're in, uh, now we're in Wonderland. Sweet. Even though you know Wonderland totally could be like the third place you go to if you go to Coliseum first. And if you go to the Coliseum first, you're crazy. But yeah. I've done it before, to see if I could beat the Coliseum early on. Although, it shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> Bora! Thanks, Goofy! Oh, still one more. Now he's dead. Anything else? Uh-oh. More wizards! Solve that problem real quick, though. Right shard, thunder shard, ether. Nice. Alright. Let's see what's in this chest. If it's horn. Great, awesome. Fire stuff that we don't need. I love how this game's really built like like a supreme RPG. But the RPG elements sometimes don't really match in sync. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, you can have these things that reduce your damage from ice enemies, and then there's like two ice enemies in the entire game. It's like, oh boy, I can't wait to block attacks from the two ice enemies. Or fire. There's like maybe four enemies that have fire magic attacks. It's 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 funny compared to like a lot of RPG where you have like entire areas dedicated to enemies with like certain types of elements. But I guess that makes it interesting for the super hardcore fans. And maybe when you're playing an expert, it does make a difference, right? Because if I mean if they do a hell of a lot more damage, woohoo! Then yeah, it'd be good to uh, not fail. Okay, you be out of the range. I'll kill the defender then. Get the hell out of here, defender. Try to do the fire attack just to mock me. <gasps> we never got the Coliseum treasure. That's eh, alright, it's not a big deal. <laughs> we can go back there before the end of the game. At that obligatory point at the end of all RPGs. Uh, after this point of the game, you're not going to be able to go back. You realize that, right? Yeah, I don't care. Do it anyways. Alright. Let's do what you got. Aww. Alright, fine, we'll leave the way over here. It would've been funny if it was actually in the arena itself, rather than the front area of the Coliseum. But, eh, whatever. Do what you got. So do we do everything? Like, every single world? Is there, like, like, nine more things that we have to go through, or what? Not sure. Oh my god, monkeys! Monkeys, take my blade! Take my giant beat stick, because it's made out of metal and it kills things good. Oh no, it's the monkeys that steal the money. Or try to at least. Get the hell out of here, monkey. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey monkey, fire. Punk. Sora, thank you, Goofy. How nice of you to provide energy for my continuous slaughter of monkeys. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, seriously? Oh, whatever. I see here and do attacks like that. We done? We done. Alright. Get all these rest of the items. What do we got? Power shards, potions. Okay. You think maybe they'd be buffed and give us better stuff, but that works too. Great. <laughs> okay, developers. I see what you did there. You're like, eh, just give them the area and then block off this stuff with, with, with I don't know, crates. Or blocks. Like, literal blocks. Block it with the block! Hmm... Okay. But the thing is, are these, is this one continuous area? 
It is. It isn't like that in the actual world. Okay. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Where are you walking off to, buddy? Just because your friend died don't mean nothing. There you go. You're dead now. Actually, we need to let Goofy get hit a couple of times. Or me. I don't mind. Ow. Ow. There you go. And now we do strike. <laughs> he threw his own weapon at me. Unfortunately, that doesn't really do much. Now, where the hell is the chest in this area? Up there? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as I climb everything in here. Huh? Chest? Yes, it is. Roger that. Ray of light. <sighs> oh, man. I can't wait to use the ray of light. I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in this area, but... Very safe than sorry. Let us check up here. Or attempt to. Okay, that's blocked off. That's fine with me. Whatever. We know these things are going to be blocked off. Alright, fine. You don't want me to go up there? That's okay with me. Because it doesn't matter. I'm going to circumvent you. I will find a way to go get up there, game. You can't stop me. Okay, fine. They can stop me. I'm leaving. Poly, poly, roly, poly. Do, 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 do. Ah. Those watermelons? Huh. I don't know about you, but if I was selling watermelons, I wouldn't cut them in half in the middle of, you know, the street. I'd kind of be backwards. Because, you know, people could just come over and be like, Oh, open watermelon! Mmm, delicious! You know? Or it rots and gets flies in it. You know, maggots? Oh, God. Man, was I not prepared for this. Oh, it's exploding into the things! Ow. Fine, whatever. I'll kick your ass anyways. Ooh, what is this? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. No! <laughs> that was, that was close. I just wanted, I just wanted this item. There, it's nether. Not, not a big deal, but, you know, it just, it does what you gotta do. That better not be the exit, too. I don't think it is, because you have that giant hole over on the other side. Oh, that's slightly more creative. Rock's blocking that path off. That guy didn't even look like he was trying to attack me. He's like, I'm a fish and I'm swimming and I'm, oh my god, this guy's hitting me. But I'm a fish and I'm so, oh, he killed me. Did you give me, thank you. <laughs> I want the chest. Ooh, AP up. I'm going through the wrong areas. AP up on Sora. Now I have one more AP to not use. Yay! Oh, and we're level 70. Yay! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Do we really want to... Yeah, we're going to keep going. What is this one going to be? Hollow Bastion, Halloween Town. Halloween Town. Alright. This is an interesting one to go through. Like, yeah, we fought in this place to fight Oogie Boogie, but it was never, like, elevated or anything. So this is a slightly different combat arena in comparison to every other area we've gone so far. So that's cool. Oh, hi, ghost. Oh, bye, ghost. Oh. Not a white knight! Oh, no! More white knights! It's like they're protecting people on the internet for no good reason! Except the people on the internet that they're defending this time is a chest! Which I guess would give them a good reason. They want to protect those chests. Right? <laughs> we good? We good? We good. Alright. What's up? Oh yeah. Give me that holy circuit, girl. I like having those things. Why? Because, well, it's just a good idea. Because how many hours do we have left? We have Neverland, Hollow Bastion. And there's a green thing over on the other side, so maybe that's the last one? I don't know. Oh, here's Neverland. Alright. Can I fly? Aww. My flying abilities are gone. Fuck this, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm going through the door. Strip me of my flying abilities in Neverland, I never do you. I'm, I'm sorry. 
What in the fuck? Okay. Winnie the Pooh? <gasps> we never did Winnie the Pooh! It's okay, because I, I, I do, I, I'm I gonna stop going through the end of the world once we reach the point where we can actually teleport out, but... Oh, it's a save point! Okay. Well, that's actually kind of convenient. Then what's the red one? A death point? You go in there just to die? Constant waves of enemies that come to wreck your shit? Here's three behemoths, by the way. And then Cerberus. And then Hades. All at once. Oh, this is the last one. We are back in... When the fuck is this place? This isn't an area we've been to before. Alabastian? Maybe it's just a unique thing. Alright. Ooh, a gale! Sweet! You need three of those to get a, uh... To get the ultimate weapon. Okay, this is Hollow Bastion. Once born of the heart and darkness, devoid of heart, ravage all worlds and bring desolation. Seize all hearts and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. Realize the destiny. The realm of kingdom hearts. The great darkness sealed within the great heart. Progeny of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness. For the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness to see the light. None shall pass but shadows return to the darkness. One's born of the heart and darkness hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. Okay. So, what are these guys supposed to be? The ones that hunger for the darkness? Huh? Do you have to jump into the door? Gateway things? Or what? I don't actually know. I'm gonna hit with a strike. Damn straight. Oh shit, another fucking gale? Damn. Thank you! Huh. Now, can we go through those? Aww. I was, I was ready to go through here. Okay, so this is like a segment of... This is like a segment of Hollow Bastion that was that we never saw because it, it didn't exist, right? The fuck? Maybe I have to examine it again. Like, every time you fight things. Every time you read it. Nope, that's not it. Do I fly through this? WTF, mate! Jump to that. Jump to this. Okay, I guess I go back the way I came. That is really odd. Now what? Don't tell me I actually do have to finish that one world. Oh, no, it opened up into a hole. Okay. I don't understand this boss, by the way, but, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, he is a giant. Bat mean mini Bat enemy! Yes! Wah! It's like, wah! A bat enemy! Whatever will I do? It's pretty much like fighting Ursula. It's, yeah, it's pretty much exactly like fighting Ursula, kind of, except he doesn't talk. He kind of does stuff. And you're like, oh, okay. I'm gonna whack you in the face. Oh, you can hit him anywhere too, actually, I think. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna whack him in the head. Why not? Oh, he's blasting fire out. Better watch out for that. Sorry, sir, I can't hear you over the sound of almost all your health already being gone. Like, really? Dude, we've knocked him almost down to yellow. I just feel extremely badass, and my game froze up and probably crashed. Yep, it crashed. Son of a whore! Round two, begin! By the way, this is like, try number three, all right? It's crashed twice, and I will see what ends up happening this time around, but I'm gonna hope it, I'm gonna hope it doesn't crash, you know? I mean, like, this isn't even a complicated fight. You just literally just sit here and beat on him until he's dead. <laughs> Which is funny, because that means he's like one of the easiest boss fights in this game. Oh, he's, no, he's shooting a fire at me! We do have to watch out for some extra attacks he does as he loses his health. But, like I said before, I'm not worried about it. What are you doing? Stop moving! There we go, we can start seeing the green! 
Come on, let me beat him and not crash. Let me beat him and not crash. I'm just like keeping an eye. I'm just hoping I don't crash. Oh shit. Whoa! Buddy! Buddy, 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 buddy. There's someone Aroga. <laughs> just in case. And I'm gonna beat the hell out of him. There we go. Easy fight. Not worried about it. He's shooting giant energy balls at me, but I'm not. <laughs> We're done. We're done already. I chair a knob. Or is it Bob? Bog. It's Terra Bog. That guy's name was Terra Bog. Turn the turn a bug. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> We're never really formally introduced to it. But we just got Super Glide, which is awesome. So you know how we used to have like you know you know how we have regular glide? Well now we have super glide, which goes a shitload faster if we hold square rather than O. So yeah. We obviously we can't display it here, but you know, in later areas and in boss sizes, it's, it's, it's gonna be nice. Like, oh, seriously, I'm still flying? Alright. I guess I'm just gonna descend. Come on, let me just land. No? <laughs> Fine, gosh, I won't, I won't land then. There isn't even anything out here. There. What's over here? Stuff. Woohoo, it's so quick. Do we get attacked by any enemies, though? No? Alright. So... What are these a part of? Are these supposed to be like legitimate Disney locales that we are failing to know about? Possibly. And this room too? Maybe? Yeah, paintings. Dark, dark paintings. Trees with faces on them. Oh my god. Anything else? Can I save yet? I want to save. Okay, fine. We won't save just yet. Oh shit! That's one way to start off a battle. All right, so I guess this is it—the final battle. Well, not the final battle, but the final battle before we get to the end of the game, and that consists of fighting Behemoth, kicking Behemoth's ass, and then kicking a bunch of regular enemy asses. Because you know that's hard. That's that's really challenging. I don't mind though. Yeah, developers, you you you, you make sure these enemies aren't that hard to beat. We're feeling badass, right? We're at the end of the world. Literally, the place is called the end of the world. Okay. Poof. See? And now we kick some regular enemy asses. That's a lot of balls. I don't, I don't. This is, I don't mind, but hey. All right, come at me, balls. I've got lots of judgment to bestow on you. How dare you attack me like that. I wonder if these are just like, is that, is that it? Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like, maybe it'll give you a couple waves of enemies and you're done. But it looks like it's gonna be like a whole bunch of waves and then a whole bunch of other waves, right? Also, I got three gales. Well, four gales now, holy crap. So, if I do go for the ultimate weapon after this, at least I have that. Of course, I still have everything else to get, which is a big problem. Like, mystery goo, you need three of that. I have two of it, which is good, but, yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Rare item. Another Gale. Damn! The game just want to give me Gale? Like, a constant amount of it? Do I need to use other Gales? Can it make two ultimate weapons? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Oh no, it's attacking me. Uh, oh, strike! I don't know why you strike on that one. You know, it was obviously he's about to go into the invis invincibility come at you crappy mode but whatever oh shit hey no no the crest the second piece of the crest is gone so this is like the last enemy all right bye nope never mind not the last enemy but this is the last wave i thought it was gonna be like a cutscene where the second piece falls off but apparently not i don't mind whatever damn it angel stars Welcome to the end of the game, where all you have to do is do Strike Raid constantly. <laughs> awesome. And another game. Really? There's still one more? Alright. Sora! I don't need your help, Goofy. Don't you know? There's shit to do. 
Oh no! Someone's about to be cursed! It's Donald! Donald, I'll miss you! You always healed me and stuff. No, he's fine. Oh, there's even more pieces to it. Oh! I thought it was just like three pieces and you're out. It's actually like a thousand different tiny pieces and then you're out. Alright. I guess that makes sense. Goofy. Thank you. What about this? What is this one? A lucid crystal. Well, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be rare. It's, it's a giant item, so it's supposed to be rare. We good? We good? No, we're not good. We have another angel star. Fuck you, angel star. Haha! <laughs> nice. It's time to walk in the darkness, fellas. But not really. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna save here. The final rest, which it literally is the final rest of the game. Um, because once you go through this door, once you go through this door, that's it. You leave, and you have to do all the final bosses and stuff. Oh, wait, we didn't get this item. So this is the point of the game where you can go, all right, I want to fight all the rest of the bosses. I want to go make the Ultima weapon. I want to go finish off Winnie the Pooh's world. But that, that, my friends, is for the post-let's play. So let's do this. We're going through the door. Recognize this door? Door from the beginning and then when we were in the dream world? Here we go. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you hear something? No. Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. Beyond, there's no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Okay, great. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. Well, thank you, creepy voice thing that we never actually found out anything about. Maybe you'd better take a rest. Get it? Because it's a final rest, you know, just do, do another rest. One more rest, one more rest. Okay. Now let's go. Holy shit, it's the Destiny Islands! Where we were at the beginning of the game. Is this my island? This is, this is the island you used to visit, because you don't actually live here. You lived on an island away, and you rode a boat here. But yeah, yeah, I guess this would be your island. Can I go fly over to this place? No, this is invisible barrier. Aw, invisible barrier, really? Okay, well, I don't know what the hell I'm looking around here for. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm guessing we have to go to the secret area. Yep. This world has been connected. What was that? Tied to the darkness. Sounds like Ansem. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Oh jeez. There is so very much to learn. Holy shit! You consumed the ocean? So Dude, you took away the ocean! A meaningless effort. Yeah, but you killed you probably My killed all the tiny she you know shamus and whales and everything. What a dick. Okay, so you make things disappear and then suddenly you corrupt that tree? That's treeist. But hey, at least there's Riku. Kind of. Hi, Riku! I guess we have to go talk to Riku. Sort of. Ah, but damn. Why does the darkness gotta do this, man? I, 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 I just, I, I don't appreciate the d darkness. It's just basically like a straight up all out evil that takes everything. Okay, now the ocean doesn't even exist anymore. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Let's go show him a lesson. Take a look at this tiny place. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from his prison. 
He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. That's a cute thing to say to someone who far, believes in straight up darkness. Still you understand nothing. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. I I don't know what to think about that, but we got to kick its ass. Okay. All right. I have no idea how to fight this guy by the way. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to live and learn by beating the hell out of him. And all of his large amounts of health bars. Oh, jeez. Pretty sure we gotta watch out for um, his little friend on the back. Because his friend in the back will grab onto one of your teammates. Or you. And you have to, like, you have to, you have to spam buttons. Be like, no, no, please, please don't do that to me. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, you're blocking him. Well, I have strike. And that just lets me bypass all your defense. Okay, squad. Uh huh, uh huh. You know, for someone consumed by darkness and who's supposed to be all powerful, you're you're not that much of a threat. Granted, I'm level 70 something. <laughs> but yeah, you're not much of a threat. I bet an expert he's a massive threat. Alright, I'll stop acting super cocky. Let's just kill him. Ow! Hey! Fuck oh shit. Do I wanna do anything about that? Ah! Oh, he popped out, but he didn't actually do much. Yeah, <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Okay, and strike. Look, your friend is gone. He's inside of me. Ugh. Alright, fuck it. Freeze him. Oh, no, he went back. Alright, that's cool. Insolent? What? I couldn't hear you over the sound of... Lightning. Why do enemies explode in lightning, by the way? <laughs> I've noticed that. That's a, that's a big theme. You just killed my favorite tree. What a dick. Alright, round two. You wanna go mano a mano? I'll go mano a mano, mano. Yeah. All right, Goofy. Donald. Got to keep on charging forward. Probably should use these cottages and stuff now, since you know they, there's no there's no rest stops. Okay. All right. We're fully healed up, and I'm ready to rumble. Uh, I should actually equip um, different abilities on here. Kyurga sounds good. And what else can I go for? Aroga is always awesome. Also. And grab a gun. There we go. So, to heal. Triangle. Square. Uh, okay. By the way, you fight by yourself here. <laughs> Shit. This guy again. It's funny because you fight him exactly the same way that you fought him before. Except he has like two more health bars. And he has like maybe one or two more attacks, which doesn't really help him out, does it? Yeah. Alright, whatever. What is he doing? I think he's charging up an attack. Oh, he is. Well, good thing I've got Aruga. <laughs> he 
you go back down to the ground so I can kill you? Let me chill out here. Oh. Okay, that works. Oh shit! It's a nice darkness you've got there. You may try to shadow to summon the darkness of the, the, the shadows and stuff like that, but it don't affect me much. Alright, I swear your arms should like stop existing at this point out of how much damage I put into it alone. <laughs> but whatever. Hi guys, I did a night nice, nice, cute. And dead. Oh boy, lucid charge. I can't wait to not use those. Well, you know, I'm just gonna hit your hand. You do your little shootout thing, and uh, I win. <laughs> Sup? Defend. Round two wakes up this time. You're doing it by yourself, and he has one less heart bar, which actually doesn't work in his favor, does it? Unguardian. Well, how about? This! Strike, baby! Haha, <laughs> no. Dodge backwards. Uh-huh, yeah, I got you. I know what's up. I do a couple of combos, and then suddenly you're, you're on guard. Ow. Oh, shit. Don't be a dick, man. Just because you're... You, you know what? Yeah, hey, it helps me out, because it means you don't have to... You don't have any defense. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought he was going to do it one more time. I was like, no! I have outsmarted you by having an ability that lets me live forever. Oh, man, I'm just going to heal myself then. Damn it. Oh, shit! Okay. Ow. Well, screw you, buddy. You do that again. I'll show you how to dodge it. Oh, whoa! 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 Wow! Shit, he hit me again. Ansem ain't no thang! Dodge backwards, dodge backwards, dodge backwards. Ow! Fuck! Whew. Ow! Hey, that worked! Oh, he got me with that. Ow. Whatever, man. Oh, shit! Ow. You know what? Fuck it. I've got strike buddy. There ain't nothing you can do about it. There you go. You get your little dude back. Oh no. He's got an ultimate mode bullshit thing too. Ah, Glide! I hope to accomplish kicking your ass. In fact, ow. I'm gonna do that right now. Oh! He knew it. He knew I was gonna come at him. Like, I was like, oh yeah, well, I've got this going on for me. Ah. Uh, oh, the arrow go stops it. That's nice. Wait, that means that make that means blocking actually would have stopped it too. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Aroga. Guard slow motion movement. Oh. Does he have anything to say? Cocky now? No? Behold the endless abyss. Well, crap. Within it lies the heart of all worlds. Kingdom hearts. Look as hard as you are able. You'll not find even the smallest Get it, guys? Emerald. Kingdom hearts, name of the game? From those dark depths are all hearts born. Even you. <gasps> Darkness. To be fair, the door's not exactly open, so you can't exact. You, you can't say there's no light inside of it. Oh shit! That's a big flagship, and we're flowing in the air. And now he's a giant, half-naked dude. Okay. If he was a chick, he would have a shirt, because <laughs> censorship. Giving up already? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that.
Riku, I don't need your snide remarks right now. I just fell into darkness. Well, just kidding. Turn to darkness. So, welcome to the battleship. I don't, I don't actually know the name of it, but it's a multi-stage battle, starting with just kicking his ass all the way up there, which ain't a problem. He's gonna just fly up and be like, "Hey, up? So I'm gonna whack your foot now." Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do this too. Just so he can take a little slightly less damage as I just constantly barrage on him. Sorry, huh? Huh? Oh, he's gonna shoot at me. Okay. <laughs> oh, and eventually we'll save Goofy and Donald in the later stages of this battle, but for now, that's not something we do. Ow, what is he doing? I'm not sure, but I need to cast another arrow on me. There we go. Perhaps this will ignite you. Shoot you with lasers. Is that supposed to be a pun? You want to enlighten me, so you're shooting me with light lasers? I don't think so, bud. <laughs> it's such an easy battle. Oh, my God. It's probably my fault for coming to this place like 20 levels more, but you know, even even at the level, it's easy as hell to do. Oh well, I better go in for a rest. Ah. Yeah, fly into the portal, Do uh, me. <laughs> I almost said Donald. I was like, wait, no, that's not right. Okay, now this is genuinely kind of creepy. Uh, okay. Oh, no! Look at all the, all the people and mega potions! Can't wait to use all these mega potions that are going to be in my inventory, which is unusable during combat. Okay. And then you just beat the shit out of this thing. And it frees one of your friends. First one's Donald, I believe. Whoa! Or maybe not yet. Okay, no, we don't rescue them yet. We'll know when we're rescuing them when they're actually a part of the battle inside the portal. Ugh. We're not even gonna comment on the the fail the failus little things over here. But I get to kill them, so. Ugh. Oh, whoa, whoa, buddy! You don't have to, like, launch me away from everything. <laughs> Hi, giant... eerie tentacle mouth penis... cannons. I'm, I'm gonna kill all of you, okay? Is that okay with you? Alright, one more. And there we go. That was literally that. That was that was that literally part. Literally the part of that battle. All right, or figuratively, whatever you want to say. Whee! Portal of Darkness. Well, thank you for that that title. Yep, there we go. We got Goofy back, and here's a bunch of Dark Ball. But now that we have du uh, Goofy back, we just constantly do a whole bunch of strikes. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Thank you, Goofy. Nice to have you back on the party. Damn straight. And now I heal myself. And we're fine. Goofy, kill it! I believe in you, Goofy. You gotta you gotta destroy the darkness in your own heart. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Oops. Meant to do Goofy. Goofy! Roar. I think we just beat up the face. Yeah, we beat up the face in this part. All right, do this. It will bite you, by the way. Just a just, just a heads up. If that wasn't obvious, it will just bite you. It'll flinch and then it'll summon lightning while flinching. Doesn't make sense, but you know, 
it, this, is, this isn't a very complicated battle in any kind of regard. I can do this battle in my sleep. At level 20, probably. Well, whatever. I mean, you probably want to do a little bit more dodging. But I'm a cocky person, so... <laughs> Alright, so he dies, his mouth opens up, and then we can just handle him. Ah, fly to the mouth. Because, you know, if it's alive, he'll just chomp on us. Whee! Actually, let me see. Do we have any mega potions here? We do. I'll put it in. I'll, I'll use it when we're inside. Donald! Oh, jeez. You have to hand off invisibles? I really feel sorry for you. I like the way that the only really way you can see where the hell everything is is by seeing their yellow eyes in the darkness. That's really creepy. Okay, all right, we got this. Don't worry. We good? We good. All right. Items. Like a potion. Oh, we didn't need to do that. Okay, never mind then. The whole gang's back together! Now what could we possibly do? Fly right back out of the mouth, okay. <laughs> we just blew up a giant section of a ship! Damn. Okay. Oh, look at the little sad core of the ship. Time to go kill it. First, there we go. Thank you, Goofy. But don't worry about me. I just gotta go kill this thing. I love how the arrow portion of it damages it. I wonder if I can kill it. Oh, well, too late to experiment. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can kill it with just the arrow part. And suddenly Anthem decides, you know what, I should probably fight myself. Which, you know, probably would have been good the entire time, but whatever. Alright, Goofy Donald, fuck him up! Actually, I should probably do this. There we go. Goofy, I just put something on you. There you go. Wait, what's he doing? I don't actually know. Oh, he's gathering energy. Or oh, he's shooting lasers at us. That's cute. The only no, he's, he's pushing me back. No, don't push me back. I would attack you. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be welcoming any darkness, buddy. Because you're going to be dead. Come on. So close. Die already. Is that it? Can't be. Really? Oh, I thought I had to fight the giant thing that's behind him, too. Okay. Gotcha, handsome. And that's that. Putting down the controller because we're done. We're done with the game. We have nothing else to do except watch a cutscene. <laughs> it is futile. The Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts, fill me with the power of darkness. You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light! And suddenly it's light! Oh, shit! Oh, oh. And now my, my emulator's like slowing down, so this is even laggier. Oh. 
fight! <laughs> Bye, handsome! You know, because now that we know that Kingdom Hearts is light, Whoa. we gotta close the door. <laughs> oh shit! What in the hell is going on in there? All the Heartless are are. Oh god. Together we could do it. Okay. Oh. Okay, Riku. Why don't you get on this side and push? Uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you pull. I'll push. That's something. Oh, by the way, you got one of the giant. You've got more than one of the giant ones coming after you. Oh. Hey, they blew up. Nice. Well, just kidding. Here's Mickey. But don't worry. There will always be a door to the light. Sora, you can trust King Mickey. Now they're coming. Donald, Goofy, thank you. I love how he just now pops up, and you're like, oh, hey, right, we're supposed to be saving the king. Oh, yeah, I'll be doing a lot of taking care of Kyrie. Right? Definitely. Okay. Two keys, one door. All right. That's one way to seal it. And then there's just like an ever-longing path in the background of it. Okay. Or ever-winding. Yeah. So, with that, we have a kind of really emotional ending, and this this did hit me hard when I finished it the first time. I was like, "Oh no, but but Sora, no, but you're gonna be separated, and now you're in the dark world thing, and Kyrie's just kind of there while the world reassembles itself. That must be weird." And Sora's so like, uh, hey, yeah, about your keychain, I might not get it to you very quickly, okay? All right, bye! Oh, 
Look at all the damn worlds that we've just restored, though. Too bad we've only ever visited, like, a... Not even, like, a tenth of these things. There aren't that many Disney IPs, so uh, Square Enix, just know that. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna give my opinion on the game now, because this cutscene lasts a while, and then you have the credits, which we're not gonna have an after credits, because uh, I didn't do the... I didn't do the optional objectives just yet. But, this game is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, all time. The series is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I know I was kind of bashing it sort of at the end there with how easy the enemies were to be. Or the bosses, but I mean, you know, like I said, I, I leveled up to- I, I, I was 20 levels way above what we needed to be. So, I mean, beyond that though, no, I, I, I like this- the game, in the game series. It's got a lot of supremely corny and kitty elements, but as an adult, you know, it's still kind of, it's it, it's really appealing. The gameplay is fun. You know, the story, as convoluted as it gets in the future, it's still, it's, it's a solid story, you know? And for a game that was like, one of the first games to come out in 2000, in the years uh, 2000, I think that's something really great. I mean, how many, how many games do we have nowadays where, you know, you get a very consistent story throughout the entire thing, you know, you get a little bit of free roaming, you know, you get more than 20 hours of gameplay alone, and if you go for the optional objective, it can easily be 30 to 50 hours. Granted, a large chunk of that is grinding, so you can do the optional objective, but, you know, it's, it, it's, there's a lot to this game in comparison to a lot of stuff that's coming out nowadays, and it's a really solid series. My only problem with the Kingdom Hearts series is that Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, like, a long time ago, and there's still no Kingdom Hearts 3. They've made a lot. Of, they made a lot of handheld ports, which means a lot of the major story elements are on the console, or on the handheld consoles. And you know, if you're if you're, if you're just a strictly TV slash monitor kind of gamer, you know, that's kind of that's kind of really annoying. Yeah, you can get emulators, but that's not a legitimate way to play these things. Uh, to be fair, I'm playing an emulator right here, but I own Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, so there's that. So, I mean, it, 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 it's kind of annoying. And I'm probably going to touch on that whenever we finish the Kingdom Hearts 2 Let's Play and the Kingdom Hearts uh, Re-Chain of Memories, because I do plan on doing those um, after the, after this one. Because I want to do the entire series, besides the handheld consoles. Because, like, the only way I could do the handheld consoles would be if I got an emulator of the DS and then the PSP. But I don't think there is... I, I, I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. But this was a really fun game. And besides the kind of rut that I got myself into after part 21 of the Let's Play, where I was like, ah, I don't want to play. And then I made myself play like 9, 10 hours. I was like, no, 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 this is still extremely fun. And for that, I'm thankful to Square Enix and Disney for making this really awesome thing. And during the credits, you get this nice little thing where, you know, People are coming back to their worlds, and that's happy. I, I don't know why Huey, Louie, do, I, I don't think that's their name. One of them is named Huey. <laughs> but yeah, you can see their worlds getting back together, except for Hollow Bastion. If, you, if you've ever played Kingdom Hearts 2, you know, you know about Hollow Bastion. But hey, look, there's Cloud. Oh, Aerith and Cloud, because they're from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, and then stuff happened. <gasps> hey, Pinocchio's a real boy. Happy! I think that's one of the greatest things about Kingdom Hearts. It presents, like, a story that's sort of dark, but for the most part, really, really happy. Because, you know, it's a Disney. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a Disney IP. And Disney, a lot didn't, and I think that's a pretty common theme of Disney. You know, you can have some really dark, overbearing themes, but then you can have the light stuff. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, such, a, it's such a nice change from going to going from modern games which are all war and gritty and, and stuff like that. You know, we get nice stuff. 
Now, and it's one of the series, it's one, it's, it's one of those series that it's like, yeah, there's a lot of nice stuff, and you don't need to see it devolve into something extremely dark and gritty. You know, like Star Wars is something that people want to see get dark and gritty, like 1313, looks like it's going to be an amazing game. Bounty Hunter was an awesome game. But this one, just, just give me more Kingdom Hearts, give me it on a console, on a, on a TV console, make this, the story make sense, and structure it like Kingdom Hearts 2 plus 1, and you have something amazing. Um, we're not going to go through the entire credits, but this was a fun game to play again. I am annoyed about the whole Final Mix thing getting remade <laughs> in the middle of me doing the Let's Play, but you know things happen, and we'll, we'll see what ends up we'll, we'll see what ends up happening with that. I'm gonna end it off here, and I will probably do the optional objective things sometime soon or eventually. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Let's Play. The guys who watched it at least, because this is probably one of the series that didn't really get watched because a lot of people avoided it uh, in comparison to other people, but that's fine with me. Um, it did make me hi put it on hiatus for a while, but you know, I, I wasn't going to put it on hiatus forever because I like the game. I love the game. It's fun playing it, and I for sure can't wait to play Kingdom Hearts 2. But first, we got to get through Rechain of Memories, which is kind of going to be blind. I know the story of it, but I don't actually, I've never actually played through the thing itself. And I especially didn't play the PST version, so. This will be interesting, but I will see you guys later. Good game.